Do black holes ever die? Black holes are often described as eternal cosmic voids from which nothing can escape. They are thought to live forever, slowly swallowing the universe around them. But what if this terrifying, all-consuming force is actually dying a slow, quiet death? The point of no return. Let's talk about the event horizon. This is the boundary of a black hole, the point beyond which the gravitational pull is so strong that even light cannot escape. For decades, this fact led scientists to believe that once a black hole formed, it was a permanent fixture in the universe, an unstoppable devourer. The theory of Hawking radiation. Now for the breakthrough discovery. In the 1970s, theoretical physicist Stephen Hawking proposed that black holes are not perfectly black. Due to quantum effects at the edge of the event horizon, they emit a faint glow of particles, a phenomenon now known as Hawking radiation, a terrifyingly slow evaporation. It's time to consider the process. This emitted radiation carries away a tiny amount of the black hole's mass. This means black holes are slowly losing mass and shrinking over time. The evaporation is incredibly slow. A black hole with the mass of our sun would take an unimaginable 10 to the 67th power years to fully evaporate. The final cataclysm. Let's talk about the end. As a black hole loses mass, the rate of evaporation increases. The final moments of a black hole's life would be a violent burst of energy as it shrinks down to a final point before disappearing completely in a brilliant flash, leaving behind a brief cosmic silence. So the answer is yes, black holes do die. They slowly evaporate through a process known as Hawking radiation. While the death of a supermassive black hole is a process that will take an almost infinite amount of time, it reveals that nothing not even a black hole, is truly eternal.